Welcome. Please take two blocks and place them towards the top of your mat, one on either side. I am going to be using my blocks on the second time, but you can use them on the first or the third or opt not to use blocks at all. Come to the top of your mat into Dasana, press down through your feet. Reach your shoulders up towards your ears and then glide your shoulder blades down. Draw your floating ribs in towards your hips. Reach your fingertips down, press down through your feet. Lift up to the crown of your head. Deep breath in. And then a soothing exhale. One more on your own. If you found your eyes have closed, blink your eyes open and then begin to refocus. On an inhale, bring your palms up toward the ceiling, turn your chin up, and on an exhale, take your hands to the back of your head. Arc over to the right, look up towards your left elbow, and then come back up, rock over to the left, look up towards your right elbow, let your right hips come over to the side. Let's do that one more time on either side. Coming over to the right, look toward the left, back up straight, and then arc over to the left, look up toward the right. Come straight back up, find a little bit of bend and fluidity through your knees. Shift the weight over onto the right leg and then step your left leg all the way back. High lunge with your hands to the back of your head. If you come back out, just come on right back in. Maybe wiggle the back foot just a little bit. Lift your heart up, feel your heart become bright and then wrap your ribs in towards your hips, drawing everything in toward the midline, keeping your elbows reaching away from each other. As you're ready, on an exhale, open up to the left, warrior two in the legs and keeping your hands to the back of your head. Take a look down towards the right toes, allow the left hip to drop a little bit more so your inner right thigh descends forward. Look out towards your left toes, make sure your toes are slightly pointed in. Keeping your hands here best you can. You're gonna to start to reach your right elbow toward the right knee. Don't worry about reaching, uh, actually touching. Starting to wrap the right side of the ribcage up toward the ceiling. Again, if you start to feel a change in your low back, draw your belly button into spine. And you've got your fingertips, maybe just massaging your occipital lobe, starting to make the crown of your head just a little bit further, making your neck a little bit longer. Keeping your right knee as is, come right back up in this warrior two variation. Release your hands out, more traditional warrior two. Gaze beyond the right middle finger. And then extend the front knee, we'll move to Trikonasana. Surf your fingertips forward, bump your hips back, and then tick tock your right hand down. I'm taking my block in next to my shin. Again, I'm on the first height. Left fingertips are up. And then take your left hand to the back of your head once again. Rotate the right side of your ribcage up toward the ceiling. Keep pressing down through both feet, soften through your jaw. Maybe send your gaze up toward the left elbow. And then if you'd like, allow your left fingertips to drift up toward the ceiling once again. On your next exhale, look down toward the mat, bend through both knees, pivot onto the ball of the back foot. And then you're gonna step your left foot forward about a quarter of a way or a third of the way forward as we move into a, a pyramid pose. I'll be using blocks again. You can choose to use them on any height you'd like or not at all. Press down through your fingertips. Inhale, reach your heart forward, right thumb to the right hip crease. Notch it back, keep pressing through your feet. And then if you'd like, take your hands to the back of your head. Again, lengthen out, draw your floaters in towards your hips, start to feel that low arch, come right back out and finding more extension here. If you'd like, keep your hands to the back of your head or release them down to the box on an exhale, start to reach your chest towards your thighs. Again, you can drop your hands down or keep your hands as they are. Two more breaths here. And then release your fingertips down to the blocks if they had come away. Rebend into the right knee, pivot onto the ball of the back foot, all toes and heels facing in the same direction. Step your left foot forward to the top of your mat. Feet hips with distance apart, ragdoll pose. Start to sway from side to side if you find that to be something that feels good to you or maybe find stillness. Find any place of tension and see if on an exhale you can allow it to melt away. Release your fingertips down to the mat. We'll take three halfway lifts. On an inhale, press your fingertips into your thighs, shins, or the mat. Reach your heart forward, low belly in. Imagine you've got that hand against the back of your head. And then exhale, forward fold. Bring your chest down towards your thighs. Knees don't have to be straightened. Drop your crown of your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Find resistance with your fingertips. Press your feet down and away. Get all of that strength. Exhale, forward fold. Third time like this, inhale, lift up halfway. Option to take your fingertips to the back of your head and then keeping them there. Exhale, start to reach the crown of your head down and then release fingertips down to the mat. 
root to rise, come up all the way to standing. Palms lift up, chin tilts up. And on an exhale, take your hands to the back of your head. Arm over to the left, bump your hips to the right, send your gaze over to the right, looking toward the right elbow. Come back up and lean over to the right, hips to the left, look toward the left elbow. Once more, either side. And then come right back up, keeping hands as they are, a little fluidity to the knees. Find some movement. This will allow you a little bit more strength and ability to find balance. Shift the weight to the left leg and then step the right leg all the way back. High crescent lunge. If your hands come away from the back of your head, simply bring them on back. Right side of the ribcage comes forward. We're looking for a more neutral pelvis toward the front of your mat. Maybe allow the left thigh to descend a little more. And then when you're ready on an exhale, take warrior two in your legs and in your shoulders. Again, if you feel this arch in your low back, let's take it up more to the thoracic spine. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Allow the right hip to drop down even more. Warrior two through your legs. Keeping hands as they are. On an exhale, start an inhale rather, start to reach your left elbow toward your left knee. Don't worry about touching down. Rather consider having length to the left side of your body. Rotating the left side of your ribcage up toward the ceiling. Come straight back up to the warrior two variation. And then release your hands, let them float down until your arms are parallel with the ground, palms down. Gaze out beyond the left middle finger, warrior two. Begin to extend the left knee. We move into trikonasana, the triangle pose to shift your hips back and reach forward. And then on an exhale, left hand comes down. Again, I'm using the block here. You don't need to do this. You might choose to um, take your hand all the way to the mat or to your shin. If you take shin, make sure that you get a little bend to your knee. Start to reach your right fingertips up toward the ceiling, wrapping left side of your cage up, and then take the right hand to the back of your head. How much more can you rotate, finding length in the left side of your body as though you could bring your left floating ribs a little bit away from the hip and a slight modulation, starting to bring the right floating ribs in toward the right hip. Right hand to the back of the head. Can you maintain all of this good work? and then extend the fingertips back up toward the ceiling. So your gaze down to the front leg, release the right hand down, then onto the ball of the back foot. We're gonna step the right foot forward for a pyramid pose. So again, a quarter of the way, a third of the way. Angle the right foot at a 45 degree angle, and then take a look at your feet. If you find that balancing this posture can become challenging, step the right foot out to the right laterally, just a little bit. You don't wanna have crisscross angles. Um, I like to have a little bit of a wider stance here. So fingertips into the blocks or into your mat. I even like coming up onto spider fingers. Inhale, lift up halfway, left thumb toward the left hip crease, notch it back. So it feels like your hip points are starting to point more towards the front of your yoga mat. Lift up on the arches of your feet. Feel your inner right thigh draw back. Option to take your hands to the back of your head. Reach a little bit of massage, the occipital lobe, allowing yourself to come a little bit taller. And then either releasing your hands down to the mat or keeping them as they are, reach your chest down toward your thigh in a pyramid of variation. Continue to press down through both feet, right through the heart, wherever you are. And then if you took your hands to your head, release your hands back down to the ground of the blocks. Inhale, lift up halfway. Pivot to onto the ball of the back foot, bend both knees, all heels and toes facing in the same direction. Step the right foot forward. Forward fold, ragdoll pose. If you like to find some movement, find some movement or allow this to be a little more still. And then release your fingertips toward the mat if you took any kind of a bind. We're going to take three halfway lifts here. Inhale, lift up halfway, fingertips to your thighs, shins, mat, or behind your head, low belly in, reach the crown of your head forward, heart is bright, press down and away with your feet, exhale, forward fold. Again, like this, inhale, lift out. If you're keeping your hands behind your head, what does this change? What stays the same? Exhale, take it all the way down. And then a final time, third time, reach out and up. Elbows moving away from each other, perhaps if you've taken that option, then exhale, release down. This time, if your hands are behind your head, let your fingertips drift toward the mat. Root to rise, come up all the way to standing, palms lift up all the way toward the ceiling. 
And then exhale, hands to your heart center. Thumbs in towards your sternum. Reach your shoulders up towards your ears, slide your shoulder blades back, release down. Draw your hips in towards your ribs, press down through your feet, lift up on your kneecaps. Soften the muscles surrounding your eyes. Soften your lips. And feel your heart beating in towards your thumbs, your thumbs, your hands reflecting that right back to you. We'll be here for three more breaths. And then once more on an inhale, circle your arms out and up, maybe with eyes closed, tilt your chin up. Exhale, pressing your palms together, slight resistance as you draw your thumbs back down to your heart center, allow your, your chin to point down, bow your head to your heart. In honor of this practice, in honor of this time that you've taken for yourself. Thank you so much for sharing part of your practice with me. In the name of the highest good, namaste.